Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Rosewood. In today's episode, Dude Bro is finally going to get a room of his own. I know, dude bro, I know, dude. Bro, I know. You've been waiting for this. You want to have your own little personal space and I totally get it, okay? We're going to make you a room. Yes, dude bro, yes. Okay, calm down, calm down. It's going to be okay. We're going to do this. So, yes, we're going to make him a room today. He needs a bedroom of his own. So we're going to go ahead and get started with some supplies. So I think we're going to go ahead and continue on with the gray concrete powder. And maybe we'll use a mixture of wool too. I do want to go ahead and use some polish andesite. So let's go ahead and make those. And let's go ahead and go down to our wool farm to go ahead and get some supplies. I think we're going to get maybe light gray wool, dark gray wool. Let's see what other wool colors do you like? I know that you really, really like poppies. I do want to, like, integrate that somehow. And let's see. It looks like you kind of like vines, too, and, like, little yellow flowers, maybe? And I wonder what Dude Bro's favorite type of food is. Hmm. We'll have to think about that, too. If I were a Dude Bro, what type of food would be my favorite? I'm thinking maybe pumpkin pie. I think Dude Bro would really love to have, like... A big supply of pumpkin pie somewhere in his house or like in his room so let's go ahead and get some supplies for that let's see let's go ahead and grab some stacks of eggs too and how are you guys doing down here how are our wheat and potato villager let's see well, how is the potatoes it's doing good I'm happy about that you guys are doing better at gathering up potatoes so that is pretty cool to see so let's go down to our automatic wool farm to go ahead and gather up some wool. So hello, prototype. You're doing a great job managing all of these sheeples. They're making tons and tons of sheep. Oh, wait, not sheep, but wool. <laughs> Looks like the brown sheep needs some shears. Let's see, do I have shears? Maybe there might be a bunch of shears in this one. Since this one is the first one. Let's go ahead and open this up really quick to see. Yes, there's tons and tons of shears here because... This one always gets like the first amount of shears. So let's go ahead and grab some of those shears. Since we don't have tons and tons of iron. Iron is kind of a problem with the sheep farm because it uses so much iron. So let's just go ahead and grab some of these shears and throw them in manually. Like right here. And you guys probably need some more shears too. And you might as well go ahead and give the yellow sheepy another set of shears as well. There we go. So we should be pretty set for that for a little bit. So let's go ahead and go down here to check on our wool supply. And I think maybe some dark gray wool. We'll go ahead and grab some of that. And then black. I'm not thinking. Maybe light gray. I'm thinking maybe some light gray would be nice to go ahead and use. And then do we want to use any like red or anything for poppies? Or do we just want to go ahead and add poppies in? I might just add poppies, but we'll grab red just in case. And then, let's see, I don't know if I want, huh, do you want any other, do I want to do something cool with maybe green and yellow since he has green and yellow vines all over him? Maybe. I'm not too sure exactly what his bedroom's going to look like, but whatever it is, I'm sure it's going to be very, very cool because I am excited and inspired today to make him a bedroom of his own. So let's go ahead and take the train station away over here and we'll go up these little stairs and right across here is kind of where I'm thinking of putting his bedroom kind of like where that little mock-up uh, <laughs> flower farm was you know it didn't end up too good let's go ahead and grab a chest just so we have more room to work around with what we're doing here and let's go ahead and do I have chest yes I have chests in here. Let's go ahead and grab those. I don't nearly need that spread stone or button for now. Or these sticks. We can go ahead and toss those in there. And I think I should go ahead and grab that crafting table that I just threw away because we're probably going to need it in just a second. Alright, so now that we got our supplies and we know where we want to put it, let's go ahead and start building Dude Bro's room. So let's go ahead and put this stuff down. So I'm thinking I want his room to maybe start around here. I want to have like a little hallway lounge area. I don't want this like whole thing to just be his room. So I think we'll start his bedroom out over here. And maybe, let's see, he needs at least two wide 
since he is an iron golem so and I think I want the flooring to start like right against this like right here so we'll do something like this maybe so we know what we're doing we'll have this right there and then this can be his entrance way so we'll have to think of like a cool design for his door so we'll start with something like that so now we know that a little bit and we'll go ahead and go across like this just so we know that we kind of want to have some polish and a site right there and then I think we'll continue with the gray concrete powder like on the outside kind of like how my bedroom is and like the rest of the house like right here I think that looks really cool I really love the way that gray concrete powder looks I don't know do you guys like concrete powder I love it it's so cool oh, love it all right so let's go ahead and place these in right there very nice I'm liking the way this is looking and then let's go ahead and fill in I guess the rest of the floor over here just so it doesn't look so weird and out of place for now and it is getting quite dark in here too so we'll have to think about what we want to do for lighting so that this place isn't super dark but for now we'll just go ahead and toss in some torches and I think we might as well go ahead and put in this polish andesite and the gray concrete powder like over here too so you can't see the wool that's from the other room right next door so we'll just go ahead and fill this in oh, less. I love it look at that I love gray kind I love concrete powder and it falls down all right so we got this going on here and we probably should do the same for over here too so let's go ahead and fill this in we'll go ahead and move our chest and crafting table later on and then I think we'll have Let's see, we'll probably have the inside start, or we'll probably just use do it right here. Even though it's only two wide, I think that we might have something else over on this side of the wall. So we'll probably just start like right here with the wall and do that. And then we'll add in the gray concrete powder, like a so. So now that we almost have the outside of his room <laughs> established, We'll have to think about what we want to do out here. Maybe we'll do like a, some type of lounge area or maybe we'll do some mini flower decoration things. All right, so let's go ahead and put in the pumpkin supplies in there for now. We don't really need these emeralds. And let's go ahead and pick up this stuff just because I hate wasting things. I don't want to waste anything. I want to use everything that we can. All right, so there is the entrance way. And then I guess we can go ahead and break this little mock <laughs> this little mock flower farm we don't really need this right now we will probably make some flower farms but we're not going to do this one this one was just kind of me playing and testing around to see what i could really do but we don't need it i want this space to be dude bro's room so let's go ahead and clear all of this out and now that we have more space for activities, let's go ahead and start planning out his walls. So I think we want to make like a really cool wallpaper type of design. Maybe we'll work with wool for this. And then let's go ahead and go across here because we know we want the wall to go this way. And maybe something like this. And maybe we'll have like a little nook over here to work with. So this is what I'm thinking. We'll have a floor here and I might do some type of decorative floor. So we won't put it in quite yet. Cause I kind of want to see how the wallpaper looks. So we're going to do, I think, stripes of wallpaper, light gray and like the normal gray. I think that would look really cool. So let's go ahead and, oh yeah, look at that guys. That looks cool. Oh my gosh. Yes. Dude bro's going to love this. He is going to think it is amazing. I hope, I hope he likes it. Okay. I hope you like your room, dude bro. I really do. Let's go ahead and just do the light here since you can't see it in the corner. And then just fill in the rest of these and do some light gray. Oh, this looks cool. I like doing wallpaper. We should do wallpaper more in more of our rooms. I think that's gonna be awesome. So we'll do this here and we'll do that there. This one there, break this. And let's go ahead and get that out. And we'll place the wool right here. I love it. Oh my gosh, yes. Perfect. And then how big do we want this nook to be? Do you want it only to be three? Is that going to be big enough for what I want to do? Let's see. If we do this like that. 
and place that there. Should be okay. Yeah, it should be fine if we just do it like that. So let's go ahead and finish up the wallpaper over here. This room's gonna be cool. I like it. Oh my gosh, I love the way it's looking so far. So we'll put that there. Then we'll put some of the light gray wool right here. Yes, I love it. All right, so for the flooring, I think we'll go ahead and add in, we'll do some type of pattern. I wanna use jack-o'-lanterns too, since they do give quite a bit of light source. And let's see, we have some here, we have some pumpkins too, that we can go ahead and change into jack-o'-lanterns if we need to. And then what do we want to use for the floor? Should we use just spruce or should we try to do a pattern? It might be too much uh, wool if I try to put wool on the floor too. So I think we'll skip that out. But maybe we'll do something with spruce. I'm kind of thinking, ooh, I don't have a lot of iron though. But I know, oh, you know what? kind of looks like iron. Uh, the smooth stone. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe once we're rich and have lots of things, we'll go ahead and add an iron, but for now I think we'll add the smooth stone just because I'm sorry dude bro, but we're not rich, okay? We don't have a lot. We have pumpkins. Uh, I need to shear these pumpkins to go ahead and make them into jack-o'-lanterns. And it's raining outside. Oh my gosh, do you guys hear the rain? That's crazy. Go ahead and put these hoppers away. And I hear a skeleton dying. Things are dying in here. Oh, you know what else we could use? In addition to the jack-o'-lanterns, we can go ahead and use... Where did I put it? Some lanterns, too. I think that would look really, really cool. I'm going to go ahead and put away some items. Let's put away this gray concrete powder for now. And I guess we can put away a bunch of this, like, random cobblestone and andesite and diorite. And we should be better now. To go ahead and work with his room all right so let's go ahead and start off maybe we'll do a pattern or something so maybe we'll do like a like this and maybe do that and then on the other side let's see it'd be if we finish the pattern it would be like here like that and maybe do a jack-o'-lantern does that look cool or is that too much? It might be too much smooth stone. But we'll see how that looks. Do we like the spruce? I don't know if we should do spruce. Huh. Should we do maybe the light gray wool? If we just use like a little bit of it, would it look okay? Something like that. I think that looks a little bit better, doesn't it? Hmm. And maybe we should do glass and put the pumpkins like one lower and then put glass on top of that i think that might be a little bit better for us to work with it so if we put a pumpkin here yeah because that really bright brightens up the room so i think we really do need to like integrate some different types of light sources but i think we'll use we'd either do like trap doors or we could do glass i think we'll just you use like glass maybe like a dark gray glass or maybe black glass. Let's go ahead and do that. I know I have tons of black dye. So let's go ahead and change all this up into black stained glass. And I'm really running low on sand. We're going to have to go back to the sandy desert soon, I think, to go ahead and stock up on a bunch of sand because I've been using tons and tons of sand to make glass and things and stuff. So we're going to need more soon. I know. I just know we will. But let's go ahead. And oh, I like that. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I love that. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So I guess we'll do something with the floor, like so. And then this one will be the jack-o'-lantern, like this, glass. I love it, dude bro, you're spoiled. You're spoiled, dude bro. You are one spoiled little golem. Yes, you are. And maybe for his ceiling, we'll play around with some smooth stone. So I have never done this before, but we can put smooth stone in here and actually make smooth stone stairs. Oh my goodness. So maybe something like that. And then maybe we'll do like polish andesite around it. Okay, let's go ahead and try this out. This is going to be exciting. Smooth stone stairs. This is going to be really cool. So maybe we'll do stairs. Not like that though. Ooh, that looks so cool. Okay. New things in Minecraft, guys. New things. 
make everything look amazing. And then maybe right here we'll do, yes. Okay, yes, 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 yes. This is what I want. We're gonna do something like this for his bedroom. Actually, not right here though, because over here we need to go ahead and add in the stairs. Dude, bro, you are going to love your bedroom. And then I think right over here, we're gonna make him a nice custom bed for him. So we'll use that for the pillows and then we'll do this. Oh yeah, big nice bed. Maybe we'll go ahead and make it into carpets. I guess I only need a little bit and put it on top of here so it looks like it's a little bit elevated. Yes, perfect, dude, bro, dude, you have a nice bed. And then maybe for his nightstand, we'll go ahead and make some barrels yeah we'll do some barrels because i think those look really really cool it's like nightstand so we'll make some of those and maybe we'll put some lanterns on top of those so we'll do this make a little cupboards and put some lanterns on top little night lights so that dude bro will be nice and happy and then maybe we'll add in like a painting like right above his bed i think that would be a good place for us to do that so let's go ahead and make a painting and let's see, what type of painting can we get? That one? Uh, I think I want to have like a three wide painting. Let's go ahead and put in some blocks here so it kind of like helps that out a little bit. No, I'm not liking these ones. Is there like a th three wide painting? Maybe there's not. Huh. All right, so maybe we'll do something like this. And there's that. Yeah, I think Dude Boy would like that one. Do you like that dude, bro? I think he'll love it. And I think somewhere over here, maybe off to the side, he's going to need a really nice looking shelf with some books on it. So let's go ahead and see, how do we want to do this? Maybe something like that. And we could put like a book here and maybe even some flower pots and some poppies since poppies are his favorite plants. So we'll do that. And then should we do like another shelf maybe going up a little bit so that he can have some more books and some flowers maybe we'll put one uh that's not gonna work we have to do it up a little bit more so we place it like right there and then we'll have to put the shelves below that one there we go and maybe a flower pot on this side dude bro you're gonna have a nice room dude bro oh, i love it i wonder do we need things on the side or should we just leave it like that uh, let's see. Do we want to put like maybe that on the side? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And then maybe we can have some trap doors down here so like everything kind of matches up a little bit better. What type of, type of trap door should we do? Just like the normal kind? Do we have enough material? We don't have enough things. No, we need more trap doors. And we'll put birch here. And I think that looks pretty cool. And we can actually go ahead and hide in some lighting back here too. That's what I like to do. Where Did I put the jack-o'-lanterns away? I already put the jack-o'-lanterns away. We always need more jack-o'-lanterns, okay? I put jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. I'm so cheap. I don't have a lot of glowstone. So I just use jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. I'm like, yes, this will do. This will do. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these. Can we put them under there? Or are we going to have to break this flooring? Let's go ahead and do that. And we will place them right there to go ahead and add in some extra lighting. That looks really cool. Maybe we'll add in some buttons too. Can we turn those on the buttons? No, but we can do, should we do maybe some birch buttons? That might look pretty cool. Kind of like on the sides, like right here. Uh-huh, I like it. Buttons, buttons for days. Dude, bro, you have a nice room. I like it. And then over in this little nook over here, I kind of want to give dude bro a little garden. I know he really loves his poppies, so maybe this can be like his little garden where he grows his poppies. So we'll go ahead and add in some grass here and fill this up with poppies and he can harvest them and grow them and, you know, do what iron golems do with their poppies. I'm not a nice little lighting source over here too. Can I make some birch fences? Let's go ahead and do that for now. And put some more of this stuff away. I need more inventory space. And we'll have this come down. Oh, that's not gonna connect. So should we do something like this maybe? 
And then can we attach the lantern to a fence? Okay, we can, yeah. So we'll have something like that. So we can make a nice little area for him. Should we go out a little bit, maybe? No, that looks weird. Nope, 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 nope. Don't wanna do that. But we'll do something like that for his poppy garden. And he can grow his poppies and have a poppy time hanging out over here. And then I think I do wanna go ahead and give him like a mini fridge so that he can stock up on his favorite food, which we think is pumpkin pie. Um, and in my room, or like in my kitchen, I kind of just have like a like a food wall. So maybe we'll go ahead and fill this right here. And we'll put an item frame on top of that and we'll fill this up with pumpkin pie so that he can have a midnight snack anytime he wants to. See, like look at our food wall. Like dude bro needs that. We need to give that to him too. So let's go ahead and grab in an item frame so that we can go ahead and add in his little mini fridge food wall type of dealio. And then what else do we need for pumpkin pie? I think we have everything we need, right? We just need eggs and pumpkins and sugar. I'm pretty sure that's all we need. I haven't made pumpkin pie in like forever. I don't think I've ever made pumpkin pie in this series. But let's go ahead and grab some pumpkins and see if we have what we need to make some pumpkin pie. I think I need a crafting table for this. So we'll go ahead and can we craft the pumpkin pie? No. So what is it? Pumpkin? Oh, we need sugar. That's what we need. So let's turn this into sugar. So we have this, this, and this, and we can make ourselves some pumpkin pie. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of these. So dude bro can have as much pumpkin pie as he needs. We made a whole stack. Dude bro, you're spoiled. You're so spoiled, dude bro. All right, here is your food wall. There is your pumpkin pie. We'll go ahead and put this in here for you so that you can enjoy a little snack anytime you want to. And maybe we'll even go ahead and put a lantern. Should we go ahead and like hang one? No, I guess we'll just go ahead and put that on top there. To have some more lighting but yeah so i think dude bro is going to like his room maybe we'll go ahead and add in some other things in the future but i really like the way this came out let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below and be sure to go ahead and subscribe so you can become a subscriber and be sure to tune in tomorrow at 8 a.m est for the next episode bye i think he likes it guys i really think he does look at that he loves his room <gasps> he's going to get some pumpkin pie right now <gasps> are you eating pumpkin pie I know you are. I know it.